So in Ultimate Team today, we got ourselves another League player. We got the left back, Sink Graven, and as you can see, I have already unlocked him. And in this video today, we're going to try this card out to see if it's one worth adding to your Ultimate Team or not. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your Ultimate Team, then check out the link in the description, igvault.com. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. Now, to get this guy, you do have to, of course, complete some objectives. It's the usual win 15 matches in friendlies. You've also got to score 30 goals in that time, which is pretty easy to do, and also assist 20 goals in that time, which, once again, is very, very easy to do, and you will do that naturally. You've also got to score um, via a cross in four separate games and score a finesse shot in six separate. So the only one that's a bit annoying is the crossing one if you don't have a crossing play style, but other than that, it's a very easy objective to complete. Now this card came out at 6pm and it's currently half past 7 and yeah, I, I've already unlocked him. I literally just spammed games as soon as 6pm came around and I got the job done. This is the team I used if you are curious. I always use 4-1-2-1-2 when doing these objectives because it's just a very attacking formation for me. You've got these 5 attackers um, just to you know get up the field with and in friendlies, for me, it's just all about attack, 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 because so many people are happy to quit at 1 and 2 nil, which is absolutely great for completing win-required objectives. So, uh, yeah, I just got all out attack, uh, got my crosses into Haaland, because obviously he's quite tall, and uh, scored both of my goals with Haaland and Wang, uh, with both of them regularly getting finesse shots. So, uh, as I say, easy objective to do, and uh, you get yourself a really nice-looking left-back item for doing it. So, this is the team we're going to be using the Dutch fullback in. As I say, he does have a very nice looking card. Comes with a 3 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves and high medium wear crates, the usual stuff for a fullback. Although, 4 star skills is actually a bit of a bonus. Most only have, uh, well, some only have 3. Um, in terms of player traits, injury prone and flair. And in terms of in game stats, there's actually some really nice attributes for this card. Obviously, the pace is quite nice. Um, that's obviously a key stat for a fullback, especially in FIFA 21. Um, in terms of dribbling, his stats are pretty outstanding, to be honest. Um, if not for that composure, his dribbling would be, you know, pretty elite for a defender. But he's got really nice ball control and in game dribbling of 89 and very high agility of 92, which is. Uh, yeah, can be very beneficial, especially if you like to attack with your fullbacks and get down the wings. In terms of passing, nice short passing rating of 85, good long passing of 83 also, and a nice crossing stat of 84. So he could definitely be a very useful attacking fullback. And if you do play five back, first of all, I don't like you for playing that. But um, if you do play five at the back, this guy could be uh, quite ideal for that formation. Um, for shooting, as you can imagine, nothing to stand out there, but he does have a fairly high attack position stat of 82, so uh, hopefully he does make some good attacking runs when we do get him to overlap. More importantly though, how is he looking defensively? Um, well, we're obviously going to be using the anchor chem style on him to give him a boost in that defensive department, also in the physicals too, and the pace, uh, but naturally 84 interceptions quite nice and uh, 82 stand tackle is also not bad for a fullback but a uh, stand tackle and slide tackle are obviously going to boost it in game with a plus 10 with that anchor chem style finally physically um stamina of 82 is good but not great i wish that was a bit better strength of 70 and 83 aggression though is not bad at all especially once more with the anchor chem style because in game he's got 80 strength and uh 88 aggression so he should be able to you know bully some wingers off the ball which will be quite nice now like i said i've gone for the anchor chem style on this guy just because i think that's the best one for him it brings him up to being an 88 rated left back you could go for shadow if you wanted to but i really like that plus 10 boost that the anchor chem style does indeed give if you're happy with his pace though you could go for something like sentinel which of course does boost at uh, boost sorry both the defending and physicals in the comments below let me know what chem style you would use on this item just before we get into the games i do quickly want to speak to you guys about an app called one football we've spoken about it before it's time to speak about it again they are now sponsoring the channel and if you want to try out the app yourselves for free then give the link in the description a go it's a great go-to app for everything football news you can use it to keep an eye on the latest transfer rumors which is definitely ideal right now with the transfer window being open and you can also use it like i am right now on screen to just look up stats of players and uh, in particular we are looking up the stats of Synchro who of course is the player that we are reviewing today so if you want to get your hands on it like i say it is absolutely free to download and free to use there's a link to do so in the description okay so into a game we go and we are up against this uh pretty interesting team to be fair he's using that van berg uh, van bergen i think it is and Kleber on the right and uh bellerin and delafeu on the left so this is clearly a player who uh, likes to complete objectives judging by his team and um yeah fair play it's a, it's a fairly unique side there's a chance for him to get down this left there just gonna be gomez 
who's going to be up against St. Graven, and St. Graven is going to come away with the tackle, but ultimately we do give away a throw. Nicely timed intercept, just in the right place at the right time there. That's it, we expect those headers to be won. There's a chance for Lucas Mora as well because of it, but unfortunately saved by Donnarumma. Come on, this is all yours as well. Didn't win that aerial battle, and now Van Bergen's going to try and get away, but St. Graven is upon him. And he's very quick and shows good strength there to win the ball back too. Fern really does fancy his chances down that wing, but so far our fullback has absolutely closed him down. Nice tackle there. That was like a natural AI tackle as well. I wasn't even controlling him and he's just winning everything right now and he might have put Mbappe through here if we can get past this defender. Yes, we can. Can we get the ball on the inside? We can and we will profit off it. That is... A pretty, a pretty age goal to be fair, but um, you know what, we'll take it. Well, half time came around and it's been a pretty successful first half. Uh, like the opening 20, 25 minutes was actually like really end to end. And then as soon as we got our first goal, my opponent just got really aggressive with his defending and we just took full advantage. And uh, before you know it, we are three nil up. So literally just after half time, my opponent decides to rage quit. So we get ourselves a nice win. And as you can see, the uh, left back actually got a decent match rating in that game. So uh, not a bad out in for him. Let's move on into another map. Okay, in the next game, we are up against this, a side featuring a lot of meta players. Not looking forward to coming up against Neymar or that inform the pie. I love the pie in this game. I think he's absolutely fantastic. This is also the first time I've ever seen um, headliners for Benio in an ultimate team. So Ben Yedder to try and start a counter attack for the opposition, but Sink Graven's having none of that. And now he has a very rare opportunity to shoot, and I've absolutely bottled it. I tried to go too close. We had a chance. I should have just shot. I should have just took it. Try and attack down this left, but it's going to be Roy Keane up against St. Graven and shows really good strength and aggression there to win the ball. Wanted it more than Keane, and now we've got a chance of Mbappe to pull back. Chance on the finesse. Oh, wow. What a weird shot that was from Mbappe, who's normally so clinical in those areas. 1-0 at the break, a much closer game than the first one, but hopefully we can still get the job done and hopefully keep a clean sheet too. He's going to try and break down this edge, but luckily our left back is well placed to just to deal with it. Simple cam header. And we retain possession. Oh, here's an interesting opportunity. The Dutch fullback is in position to score. Unfortunately, doesn't, but does set up Awa to make it 2 0. Chance for the opposition to come forward now with Lucas. Oh, he messed that up. I read that like an absolute book. I think Raven's currently playing the CDM role, but he's doing it successfully, so we're not going to complain. Nice. Nice pick up there by the Dutch fullback. Nathan Aki didn't complete the tackle, but. St. Graven did. And there is the full time whistle. Unfortunately, we did not keep the clean sheet, but we did get a nice 4 1 victory in the end. It was 2 1 for most of the game, and then in the final, like literally the last five minutes, we scored twice to uh, end the game. Obviously, he did get a bit more aggressive with his defending from that point. Um, Another solid outing from uh, the left back though. I thought both my full backs in that game were actually very good. So uh, happy days. Okay then, now the games have been played. It's time to discuss the performances of this league player, Sink Graven Item. I really hope I've been saying his name right the whole video. If I haven't, let me know the correct way to say it in the comments. You guys know I suck at names. Anyway, how was this card in game? Very good to be honest. It is uh, it's a great left back item. And if straight up, if you're wrong with a Bundesliga side, I really do advise getting this item. Do I think it's better than Road to the Final Alfonso Davis? No, I do not. However, this card is quote unquote free, will cost you no coins, but it will cost you a bit of time. Whereas the Alfonso Davis item is obviously very, very expensive. I think for this stage of the game, this left back card is absolutely brilliant. And as I say, definitely worth the unlock. Now, let me tell you why that is. First of all, his pace is very good. Obviously, the anchor chem style does help with that. And I do feel like that was, you know, to his credit. So definitely do put the anchor chem style on him. Um, pace, as I say, very good for both going forward with the ball um, and when tracking back defensively which is obviously very, very key. In terms of going forward, the guy does like to attack. He is one of them getting get forward fullbacks. So uh, you may want to put the stay back while attacking instruction on him if you don't want him to be getting forward because he will attack naturally. Passing wise, very good. Is he like, you know, an elite level distributor? No, but his passing is quite nice, especially off that left foot. He obviously does only have freestyle weak foot and he's left footed. So uh, always keep it on his left foot if you possibly can do so. But I thought his short pass and long passing were very solid. And I also thought his crossing was up to a good standard as well. Dribbling for a defender is absolutely brilliant in my opinion. Really did like him on the ball. He definitely is a fullback that you can go and run with if you do indeed choose to do so. 
So uh, really happy with that area of his game. He's also just, you know, comfortable in possession as well, which is quite nice to have. So if you do get in a tight situation with your fullback, he does have the ability to dribble out of said situation. Defensively, for a fullback, he's quite good. Like, I wouldn't use him as a centre-back, obviously. Um, I don't think his tackling is up to that kind of standard. But for a fullback, I think his tackling is good enough. Once again, that anchor chem style does come into play to help out in that area. Also made a decent amount of intercepts for me, which was very pleasing. Finally, we come on to one of the big positives for me, and that is the strength and aggression combination of this card. And once again, I have to mention the effect that the anchor chem style does have. This is where the anchor chem style helps a lot. That big plus 10 in the strength department. This guy's already got pretty good aggression and their decent strength, but with the anchor chem style, both of them are in boost, uh, boosted. And in game, you do feel that he does have the ability to knock a lot of wingers off the ball and just dispossess them with ease due to his stats, which is awesome. Also, aerially, he was quite solid as well. So all in all, physically, pretty happy with this item and as a whole I don't think there's like a standout negative for this card um, as I say it does like to get forward now and again so that might annoy some people but I didn't mind it at all and like I've already said if that is a problem tell him to stay back while attacking but um, as a whole great left back item and definitely worth to pick up in my opinion especially if you run with a Bundesliga team and also it's just a good card to have because it's quite useful for links especially when they're hybriding like the Bundesliga to other Dutch players in the game obviously a key link for this this guy is a uh, you know he's left back to centre back link to Van Dijk in this game who obviously is a popular centre back in the game. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's wrap this video up. Definitely worth the unlock, and uh, as I say, you should, guys should get to work on it. It's not too difficult to unlock either, and uh, it's definitely a good card to have that I think will have some decent longevity in this game. Anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a like rating on it in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on the item. Subscribe if you're new around here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.